What is up guys, my name is Alex and today I'm going to be doing the second episode of Potential Summer Transfers. So for today's episode, we're going to be talking about Real Madrid's potential summer transfer targets for 2016. So without further ado, let's get straight on to the video. So up first, we have James Rodriguez. Basically, the way Zinedine Zidane phrased it is that he either wants to get rid of Isco or James Rodriguez. And right now, James Rodriguez is, is the one that's being targeted by many teams such as West Ham and Manchester United. In the past, Zinedine wants to sell one of the two, and it looks like James Rodriguez might be the one leaving. But the thing is, James Rodriguez is refusing to leave purely because he wants to fight for his starting position, and he really wants to prove to Zinedine Zidane that he can be a starter at Real Madrid, and that that's where he wants to play for the rest of his career. Moving on, the second player is Paul Pogba. So Paul Pogba has been um, holding off the transfer offer to Manchester United. He can sign it right now and go there, but. He's been waiting to see if Real Madrid could bring in, in bring in an offer to him. Uh, Zinedine Zidane can't afford Paul Pogba until he sells James Rodriguez. If James Rodriguez does leave, Paul Pogba will be able to be signing for Real Madrid and he's openly said that Real Madrid is the place he wants to go to over Manchester United. Third player of the episode is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Everyone knows about Aubameyang and how he's been linked to so many different clubs being such an amazing player. Scored 39 goals in 49 matches, he's only 27 years old. It's incredible what he's done at Borussia Dortmund, so he's been openly saying that he, the only club he will move to away from Borussia Dortmund is Real Madrid. No other club, even though he's been targeted by Manchester United, Manchester City, and all other clubs across Europe, but um, he said the only club that he will go to is Real Madrid. The only reason that he isn't going to Real Madrid and Real Madrid isn't going for him is because they can't afford it yet. If they decide to sell Kareem Benzema, and it's been rumored that he might leave as well, then there will be plenty of room for Aubameyang to be a starter, to get plenty of matches in, and for him to move to Real Madrid for a price that Real Madrid can afford. From Aubameyang's perspective, there's no place for him to be started, and he doesn't want to get game time as a starter. So we'll have to see how Real Madrid uh, work out their money issues. So with that being it for him, let's move on to the fourth player. So up next, we have Alvaro Morata. The thing is, Zinedine Zidane has been keen on keeping him as a striker option to keep depth because he just got rid of Mayoral uh, to Wolfsburg and Benzema isn't exactly the one that he's keen on keeping as his number 9, so Alvaro Morata might be staying at Real Madrid for the, another season. There's so many clubs going after him, such as Chelsea has placed an offer for 75 million euros and Real Madrid has rejected it. In my opinion, I think it's because Zinedine Zidane wants to keep him as a striker number 9. Others have been saying that uh, Zinedine Zidane just doesn't want to sell to Chelsea, but there's no proof of either, apart from the fact that Zinedine Zidane could just want to be keeping Alvaro Morata as a backup striker. Moving on to the last player of the episode, we have Nacho Fernandez. He's been rumored to go to a loan to buy off or away to Roma. Um, there's been a 2 million euro deal between them, so in two years, if I'm not mistaken, is how long um, the loan will be. If in two years, uh, Roma decide to buy him, they can buy him 2 million euros no matter how amazing he is or how bad he is. They'll still have that offer on the table, so I guess it's a good idea for Roma. They also loaned in um, Juan Jesus, but Roma will be a separate episode, which I'll go over later. I guess that, I guess that works, considering so many clubs are targeting Manolas. And uh, Nacho Fernandez has came out and said that he wants to get game time as a starter. He wants to get game time. And if Zinedine Zidane won't give it to him, he's got to go out on loan or he's got to get a transfer move. But he needs to get some kind of game time. So I think it's a good move for Nacho Fernandez to move to Roma for a loan deal. Maybe even for a permanent deal in the future. But no, we'll have to see in the future how he plays it out. So with that being the end of the video, I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name has been Alex and I hope to see you next time. Peace.